Well, naturally, I'm Chinese, so anything to do with China or Asian, sort of like it's part of me. And I feel like a lot of people, uh, Asian filmmakers, a lot of films uh, make from the heart. A lot of truths, a lot of beautiful stories are through history. It's like our food take time to make. It's not just fast food. So there's a lot of heart, a lot of sincerity, a lot of honesty, a lot of beauty and magic in it. That's why I always support him because like anybody, you look at her face, it's a story. There's uh, something unique. I never learned acting. I just gave my heart. I devoted. I just gave you my honest how I feel is what you see. I think you have to be pure. If you aim for fame and money, you'll never make it because it's the wrong channel. I think you have to give something. Like for me, all these glamour things, it's fun. It's a reward, but I love what I do. It's the gift I give. It's the creativity. It's the magic that I'm screen that I do have that too and natural time sure to give. I think if you find you what you're doing um, the best without even thinking, like you're even your chef, you can be a star because okay. that's what you're meant to be. If you want money, uh, all of that, I, I doubt it, you'll be studios, suffering because um, Hollywood's uh, very cruel. Uh, but if you give them gold, they'll give you gold. Like if you give them not gold, you cannot get gold. Okay. It's something you have to be pure, you have to be real. And for me, it doesn't matter what I get, I don't care. But I, I love that magic when I'm on camera and perform and portray a character because I can move your heart, I can shock you, I can make you sad, make you happy because I'm real there to serve the character. It's about service. Um, that is really beautiful. Stand, so where, um, the where whole crew from what's Veep? next and upcoming you know, for you? Beef is a relocated, I have so uh, many movies. I have a uh, Samurai Cup 2, Bound, The Key. So we I'm shooting two okay. movies now. I have probably uh, six movies in uh, post-production. If your fans follow me <laughs> at uh, well, Real Bailing Real on Twitter, Twitter and Instagram, so and you can see all my projects on IMDb or officialbailing.com. Also, I give fat-free, sugar-free cookies, which is a little wisdom. Sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Uh, I like to be in a martial arts comedy. That's coming out. That'd be awesome. I think I heard you like singing too. Is that right? No, no, no. Ian's the singer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I play bass. Is there a really funny one? And the call comes from these places to know about you. I play tennis with the double handed racket. Oh, wow. Yeah. So multi-talented. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love this show. I actually live with Diana. She's my roommate. Yeah. yeah cool. Gotta get on that ping pong table. Cool. Right? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You look How are you? So dapper. Thank you. you. Um, my parents taught me, but yeah, I had some decisions. Yeah. Um, I play Dave Park, Dr. Ken's son, and the uh, youngest kid in the family. He's a happy boy, but um, he has some interesting hobbies. So um, he he might be a little offbeat. I wouldn't say they're particularly like uh, particularly different. Right. Yeah. I like to read, swim. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm that like D uh, Dave, um, but his personality is still uh, being kind of experimented by the writers. Um, I'm Chinese American, and I'm fourth and fifth generation. My character Molly on Dr. Ken is third and fourth generation, so it's really exciting to be representing that type of girl that I grew up as that I didn't see as much on TV. Um, and I think that being an Asian American who is fifth generation, we are an assimilated family. We are like your next door neighbor. We could be any kind of race, but we are Chinese. I mean, excuse me, I'm Chinese, yes. Ken's Korean, yes. uh, Susie is Japanese, and it's just so great to be a part of that culture. It's our time now. It takes a long time. I've been working since I was 25, you know. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, <laughs> but uh, I've been up and down. I stick out, so I'm here. In my younger days, I worked in Hong Kong, in England. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then I came here, and uh, the first one I did is Joy Luck Club. Yes. There is another one, uh, another Asian program, Dr. Ken, yes. which is doing very well. Yes. And now we're, we're here, you know. At least we have a lot of Asian people. We should have something to represent us, right? So this is the time. I'm really honored, really honored to play the grandma. Yes. Well, we're honored to have spoken to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.